Sorry, prostate here. It's uh, Tuesday night. <laughs> Fair. What day is it? Um, you know, and, and uh, I'm done. I'm tired of choking on the cancer. I was trying to do some news, get some news together. Um, man. Mm. So uh, what we're going to do is I've decided to get a little aggressive and uh, air out some air out some reps. How about you? All right. I want to play it as the asshole today. So we're going to have asshole rep killer. Try to do another ending, the unending endings of uh, of the one and only uh, Blade Run. And so what I have to do here now is remember. Thank you very much. All right, and um, so let's see what we got coming on here. Um, load game, yeah, new game. Play medium. Hey Jack, what's happening, man? Yeah, you know, just getting ready for the game. Doing my thing. trying to like keep my head on a swivel so I can make sure I've got <laughs> I've got a little notebook open so I can read the chat um I do want to make sure everything's working though so all signals are going out Leaving now. Lucy, my sweet. I cleaned out the tiger cage and sorted all the meal bins. So, if it's all right, it's my turn to fix dinner. D uh, haven't you forgotten something, little one? Just one little thing. Mr. Runcer, please. It's been a very long day. That's Polly Perrette's voice. I don't want to. Now, Lucy, I thought we'd settled this last week. Don't let's forget who pays your salary. We're closed. Come back tomorrow. Wait, I haven't finished with you. I told you, we're closed. We're not here to buy, little man. We've come to sell. You can't possibly have anything to interest me. These are extremely rare animals of the highest quality. What a coincidence. So am I. 
That is the price for humanity. Oh, please, don't. And what else might we interest you in today, sir? Perhaps some virtue? Yeah, not my animals, please. I'm begging you. But what of honor, little man? At what price? Honor. Oh, my God, no. That tiger is the rarest specimen ever seen. Tiger, tiger, burning bright. The forest of the night. BR 61664, report to precinct headquarters. Code 3, repeat code 3. I was just finishing up my 12 out on patrol when I got the call. Welcome relief, considering that the most action I'd seen all night was a schizoid grandmother doing the shimmy in her underwear in the second sector. <laughs> you know, somebody stated that that looks like the Millennium Falcon, kind of. And it does. Last time I had a three was when some hooker vomited Thunderbird on Bryant's desk, and yours truly led the cleanup crew. Year and a half on the job, it was still the dirtiest work I'd seen. Where's Captain Bryant? Took a sick day. Got himself a heinous case of domain poisoning. He asked me personally to run the unit in his absence. Guza was one of the old-time guys who took their knocks in the streets. He had a friendly way about him. But you didn't want to turn your back on him if you were less than a friend. Hope you've been enjoying your leisure time, kid. Cause it's time to take that thumb out of your ass. Hallelujah. Don't get too excited. The other Blade Runners are all jammed up. Holden sucking dinner through a straw. Gaff's working the Tyrell break-in and Steele's working special undercover. Looks like you got this one by default. You really know how to make a girl feel wanted. Animal murder done at Runciter Zoological. Probably just be a schizoid glitz, but we got the call. Old man Runciter lost something like a billion chinions worth. Ten to one, this ain't a job for Rep Detect. You got something better to do? Perfect your French cooking, maybe? Slumming tonight, Slim? I thought you were on special assignment. Wasn't too damn special after I had the suckers out. What happened? A couple of fours were masquerading as fibroplast insulators down at Kaiser. I dressed up like a nurse, they never had a chance. I'll bet. You put them on the machine? Hell no. There's a beautiful little thing in here called the magic, and it ain't ever been wrong. You develop it, you got a brilliant career ahead of you. I'm working on it. What Scooza got you doing tonight? A.M. at Runsitters. Animal murder. Oh, those skin jobs got no respect for anything that truly lives and breathes. And that goddamn Eldon Tyrell ought to be zipped into a body bag and flushed into deep space. Get rid of him, we'd be out of a job. <laughs> I think we're all overdue for a little off-world paid vacation. You can stop staring at my ass now. You got eyes in the back of your head? All you gotta do is ask, Slim. <laughs> And here we go, with the gameplay. Animal sales was a profitable and prestigious business since most real animals had died out after the Terran War. There were plenty of electric ones though, powered by rechargeable batteries. No self-respecting human would own one of those frauds. What do you know? About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. The shop's been thrashed. You ought to see this tiger cup they got in there. It's a goddamn tragedy. How's old man Runciter holding up? State of shock. He's been moaning and complaining about his world caving in. You'd feel the same way if they were your animals. How many perps? At least two. Bloody footprints all over the scene. Must be a delightful sight. Canvas the area. Maybe somebody had his eyes open. I'm on it. Hmm. 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 
Find something? Piece of chrome. From a car? No, I think it's horse chrome. Bag it and tag it. Judging from the distance between the prints, I was looking for two very big men. One dragged his right foot, indicating a possible injury or lameness. The other appeared a lot more controlled, graceful even, quite a pair. Video screens were everywhere in this damn city. Sometimes I wondered if they were watching us. I usually just change the channel, but to each his own. All my animals. Hi, Leo. McCoy, LPD. I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She's responsible for all this mayhem? No, of course not. It was two men acting in concert with her, obviously. Obviously? What'd they look like? Big and scary and absolutely malevolent. My precious one. Absolutely she was malevolent. My baby. You got any discs from that camera? It's irrelevant. Those murderers also destroyed the camera. Thousands of Jinyans worth. Maybe it photographed them before they shot it out. Mm, I guess you've got a point at that. I believe this is the disc from last night. Peachy. Tell me about this Lucy. There's not a lot I can tell you. She's only worked for me for a short while. She's about 14 years old with pink hair. A very attractive young thing. How'd you find her? She came to me with a reference from Ogilvy's in the Northwest Zone. And he's a very reputable wholesaler. You treat her well? As well as any young tot should be treated. She got a desk? Or someplace where she worked? She used to eat over there. Howie Lee's in Chinatown. I'd eaten there myself. A candy bar. Yuck. Well, isn't that cute? Hmm, a toy dog. There's like supposed to be some bullets laying around. This is around the front door. It's like I can't find them. I didn't know what he's fucking talking about. Can now. you think of anything they might have been after? First, I thought they wanted money, but I don't keep any in the shop. Then I thought they wanted to steal my animals, but they started executing them. Could they have been replicants? Who else would be capable of such barbaric acts?
You ever do any business with the replicant manufacturers, Tyrell Corporation? I resent that accusation. Just wondering. Officer, last May I personally sold Governor Kolvig an exquisite Perseron coat. I have been a guest at his house on three separate occasions. Do I look like I need to carry artificial product? My precious one. She was my baby. There's a test I'd like you to take. No. I have a lot of cleaning up to do. It won't take too long. This is a new addition to the game. Uh, available at GOG. Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? Uptown. Your office already has my address. You're at a restaurant with friends. One of them orders lobster. The chef drops the lobster into the tub of boiling water while you watch. That's insane! They used to do it all the time. Do you have any idea what lobsters are worth these days? <laughs> Your child comes home with a black eye. Childhood is full of harsh lessons. You're seven years old. You managed to steal several marshmallows from the kitchen and sneak them back to your bedroom. You're caught and your father spanks you. I wouldn't let him touch me. What do you think it's like to be a replicant? How would I know? How do you think it would feel to be hunted all the time? They're just machines. So you don't have any sympathy for them? I suppose it might be bad. You rent a mountain cabin. On the walls, someone has hung old maps and Courier and Ives prints. A deer's head is mounted above the fireplace. A full stag with developed horns. What do you expect me to say? You don't have to say anything. The Voight Kampf measures. I understand how it works. Positive result. Subject is human. Test terminated. Hmm. Okay. See if you can dig up that reference from Ogilvy's. Yes, it's somewhere here. Just a moment. Here you are. I'm ruined. Totally ruined. No insurance, man. You're dumbass. It didn't add up. Animal murders, the lack of any theft, the small animals alone were worth a good chunk of change on the street. It seemed more like an act of vengeance. Scratches and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. Unless the city had bought a jet black fire truck, somebody had a big fat traffic ticket coming. I already checked for a crowbar, some kind of tool. No luck, but it looks like we've got some latents. Make sure the lab boys run them through the mainframe, human and rep. I've gotten all I can from that. Find anything else out here? This woman says she saw that kid who worked for Runciter hanging around with a big fat guy last week. Find anything else out here? This guy lives across the street. Says he heard a crash late last night. Looked out his window and saw a black sedan speeding away from the scene. Find anything else out here? Zilcho. Row actions inside. Abstract art. All over the walls and ceiling. I never did appreciate art. Select. Destination. Oh, 
31 Sector 3, LA. This is 31 Sector 3, go ahead. 31 Sector 3, 1179, possible 1144 in the Chinatown District. Vehicle versus pedestrian, 1020 is Yukon Street. Be advised, suspect vehicle has fled the scene. LA 10-4, 31 Sector 3, responding code 3. All units, stand by for emergency traffic. BOL, dark sedan, possible front end damage. Wanted for hit and run on a ped in Chinatown District. Last seen northbound on Yukon. I wonder if that's our people. Anyway, yeah, it's like I was trying to say earlier that uh, the voice of Lucy Devlin is Polly Perrette of uh, NCIS fame. You know, that hottie. Um, she still looks like she's like 17 years old, even though she's in her 50s now. Um, Laboratory, mainframe, and shooting range. The Tyrell Corporation today recalled the last four functioning entertainment model Nexus 5 replicants from off-world service. Dr. Eldon Tyrell, speaking at a shareholders meeting, denied allegations that the model was defective and possibly dangerous. The simple fact is that the model wasn't performing its designated function. There was one isolated incident of violence a couple of years ago, but the individual unit in question was immediately retired from service. No, the problem is far from anything sinister. The entertainment model just isn't funny. Scanning video yeah. disk. Two enhanceable images found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Run sitter crime scene. A sushi menu. From Howie Lee's. Give me a hard copy of that. It's some kind of insect. Give me a hard copy of that. There, Lucy. Give me a hard copy of that. Hey, Caver Dam. What's up? Just hanging out here playing uh, Blade Runner again. Run Setter Crime Scene. He looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. Yeah, get rid of that boop, boop, boop. You're right.
Hmm. Muddy boots. Guess he's from out of town. Give me a hard copy of that. Got it just right. Oh man, I just can't put it on easy mode, you know what I'm saying? Damn it. Alright. Local license plate? Give me a hard copy of that. There we go. A black ground car. Looks like it's been around the block a few times. Give me a hard copy of that. It's like an old Chevy. I don't know. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading main frame clue too. database. Right. No clues transferred. Clue database transfer complete. Yeah, up to how he lays. We're gonna do things just a little bit differently. Well, if it ain't Ray McCoy, Bryant finally letting you play with the big boys. My clearance come through? You bet. You bring your piece. Don't leave home without it. First time through is always the toughest. Listen for the bell tone. That'll let you know when you're too slow reacting to a hot target. Then what? You can keep going, but your score's gonna suffer. And take it easy in there. Steele's been running the maze every other day for two weeks, and the targets are getting a little roughed up. I thought Guza was going to requisition some new ones. I ain't seen him down here in a month. Guess he's been busy. Poor guy. I bet he gets all tuckered out from pushing those papers around. Busy. And don't sell him short, McCoy. <laughs> Guza could be one tough hombre. <laughs> I remember when we worked vice together. He poured acetone on two pimps that gave us some lip <laughs> and lit a match. Ah, I tell ya, it looked like the goddamn 4th of July out there. <laughs> Peachy. Laboratory. Got anything new for me, Dino? I was wondering when you'd show your mug around here, McCoy. We got the animal corpses from Runciter's, but there wasn't a whole lot to work with. Bone marrow? About 50% were real, the rest were fakes. So, Runciter was ripping his customers off. State of the art fakes. Miles beyond the crap you see on Animoid Row. The kind that comes from legit manufacturers? Yeah, they're the ones that usually produce the quality. What about the wounds? Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Sloppy cuts with a knife, like the perp was really pissed off at something. Butcher knife? Could be, but who cuts meat anymore? Nice bunch of reps I'm tailing. Hope you're not pulling a meat cleaver out of my back next week. Anything else? That black paint you found on the fire hydrant? It's from a ground car. You sure? The angle of impact was almost head-on. And there ain't too many spinning drivers clutzy enough to smack a street-level hydrant in VTOL mode. I heard your wife got her license back. <laughs> You're a real funny <laughs> guy, McCoy. Anything else? 
That piece of chrome you found outside of Runciter's is from a 1995 Pontiac. Nice set of wheels. Oh, specific. Okay, not what I call a classic. Any way to find the car's owner? Well, you'd need the license number or the VIN number from the inside of the door. You run either number through the mainframe and it'll ID the car for you. Anything else? Zip, man. Try me later. And that's the only time we see that guy, is that right here at this beginning of the game. Um, why, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, y'all, I'm multitasking. Select destination. Chinatown. So I'm in surly mode. I'm going to ask to talk to the zoo Real first. Real sushi was a luxury reserved only for the elite, since most sea life had become radioactive after the Third Terran War. The rest of us had to eat new sooch, soya mixed with off-world lichen. Hey, big guy. Busy. No time for talk. Makoi, itazura suru na. You want something, you talk to me. Sorry, Howie. Got to mix more out back. Howie says you're a master chef. You not come back here. Air bad. This will only take a minute. There's a test I'd like you to take. It won't take too long. Test? What kind of test? Kind of a personality test. Totally routine. Routine? This is where I shoot the bum. Alright, and then I keep, keep going. Alright. Oh, kind of a psycho. Blade Bunner. Whoops. Sorry, y'all. Lightning Squad, Rep Unit, Battle of the Gemini. I'd retired a war hero, someone who'd fought for the freedom of the off-world colonists. The poor guy kind of reminded me of one of those buffalo soldiers, blacks who had killed and died for America, yet weren't allowed to drink alongside whites. And maybe, just maybe, the photograph validated his own existence. Oh well. Kill it, man. Just took a wrong turn back there, that's all. Take your business elsewhere. An excellent idea. He was just an old bum. Not Howie's cook, and certainly not a replicant. I'd screwed up, plain and simple. If I was going to get clear of this, I needed to tell Guza, and the sooner the better. 
I knew what I was doing wasn't right, but I didn't have time to answer questions back at the station. Besides, specials vanished every day in this city, and no one ever missed them. The body was still there. I didn't know when the trash got picked up in this neighborhood, but I hoped it was soon. The body was still there. I didn't know when the trash got picked up in this neighborhood, but I hoped it was soon. Okay, so we killed the bomb. Whoops. Beautiful night, isn't it? When business thriving, night always beautiful. Hey, Howie. What's cooking? Nothing now, McCoy. Got to find a new chef, thanks to you. Can't help you there, Howie. Keeping out of trouble, Howie? I look like I got time for chitter chatter. How is uh, this stop? Destination. Police station. Your apartment. Rumor has it you've been earning your stripes, McCoy. Working on it. Keep it up. You just might have a future in this business. I understand it's got a hell of a retirement plan. You VK the mark before retirement? Didn't have to. That's why they call it the magic. I'm starting to understand. You ever retire a human, Scott. your career is over. Remember that. I checked with you and Air. Looks your rep swung that Moonbus massacre last month. They ever find the Moonbus? Disappeared into thin air. Brian thinks it crashed out in the Kipple. How many reps are we talking about? Enough. They're Nexus Sixes. So don't take too much slack. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm almost positive that's not James, uh, uh Edward James Olmos. Your floor number, please. Rude. Your floor number, please. Apartments. McCoy, 88F. 88. There we Thank go. you. I lived with the best gal I'd ever seen. She was two now and full of life and love. She'd cost me about a year's salary, but she was worth it. It was good to have someone warm nearby after completing a dirty job, and the retirement swag from this case would go toward getting her a partner. Here you go, baby. Dinner time. Zubin was the first Nexus 6 I'd come up against. There was something in his eyes, an almost primordial desire to live. Most of the 3s, 4s, and 5s I'd seen would just give up when you had them. But these 6s, they were a whole other breed. Take a whiz, you know. 
portrait of the sleep deprived. Got your delivery here, man. Oh, what? Kingston Kitchen. Oh, yes, right. Hold on. Is this what the gravity be like on Mars? Oh, no. It's about a third of what we got here on Terra. Real company. How about turning that dial, okay? When I say... Oh! Please, can you control your rat? I'll have you know that Ricky's a purebred chihuahua, and he's totally real. Things going good at Tyrell Corporation? Boring, boring. Old man Tyrell's been on a Wagner kick lately. He never shuts up. You also do outside work? Sweetie, I never go outside. It's bad for the glands. How about Nexus 6? You know a lot about them? I think you should be going now. <laughs> Understand the good if it holds deep meaning for me now. Where be your research on Nexus 6? I need test studies, contacts, the works. Only civic leader! Extra terrestrial gravity! <laughs> One more minute, you be swallowing this explosive. Three more minutes, they be hosing you off the true life building across town. Oh, I swear! I don't have anything. If I did, I'd give it to you. My people sick and dying. You tell me something. Talk to Dr. Tyrell. Tell me something I don't know. The organ designers, uh, Maraji, Hannibal Chu, Luther and Lance, they're closer to him than I am. Where? DNA Row. They're all working down on DNA Row. Oh, no, no, no. You one miserable package man. No. No, no please don't. Pick up. Hope you aren't camped out there with a bottle of tequila. Oh, very funny. Early bird slays the worm, McCoy. Don't worry. I'm up, Lieutenant. What's the buzz? One of Tyrell's employees got his fat face splattered all over the marble interior of the Tyrell building. Inside? That's right. But we also got a sweet little breakout. Tyrell's surveillance system recorded the whole shebang. Beautiful. How many perps? Just one. I don't know if it's related to the runs that are dealer or not. Tyrell Security will have the disc for you when you get there. You'll be good, killer. Your floor number, please. Select your apartment. Runsitter's Animal Shop. I'm playing the Bad Lieutenant version of Blade Runner. McCoy, LPD. Uh, yeah, just a minute. Where do I go? Oh, Grab test on the east wing, 66th floor. Uh, here's the footage from the security cameras. You get a pretty good look at the man's face. How'd he get past you guys? He pretended to be a delivery man. Dr. Eisendoller ordered in a lot, so it didn't seem unusual. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir.
It was a Tyrell sales brochure for the Nexus series, the kind of glossy hype that ends up littering the floor at trade shows. This one was for the new entertainment model, a comedian designed to entertain the troops off-world. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me, like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. This is a great game. Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed. Not just once, but a dozen times. Tyrell engineers might forget their passwords, but what would the GravLab boys need with replicant DNA sequences and incept dates? Jesus. I've seen worse, but not by much. Learn anything? You could strain him through a sieve. Obviously, he'd been killed with an explosive, and not just because he'd been plastered on the wall with a thousand strokes. The detonator wire I pulled out of his skull told the whole story, but I wondered why the killer didn't just shoot him. I'd seen more dead animals than live ones in the last 24 hours, and now it was dogs. Three of them. I thought about Maggie and nearly threw up. Any idea if they were real dogs? A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. The dude never answers them. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? This earring yours? Maybe it belongs to that other cop who was up here. The babe with the shades and the cigarettes. Ain't her style. Call her babe to her face, you're liable to end up with a severe limp. You spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely. You spot anything you think I ought to know about, tell me. Absolutely. Lagging behind again? Guza didn't say anything about me working with a partner. Oh, <laughs> in a pig's ass, Slim. No, I'm following up on my own. Could be it's linked to this Tyrell debacle. How's yours connected to mine? Oh, I'm still putting the pieces in, together. In it's all Almost stored in Esper's mainframe. You hear about the Moonbus massacre? Gaff mentioned it. Could be our cases are overlapping. I might keep you posted. Do that. You know anything about Tyrell's computer system? Security is tight as a drum, if that's what you're asking. Somebody tried to access restricted data from the terminal in Dr. Eisendeller's office. But they couldn't get in. Yeah. Looks like Dr. Tyrell keeps his files safer than he keeps his employees. You friendly with Eisendeller? Most of the employees they see coming in morning and night, but old Marcus, I mean, uh, Dr. Eisendeller, he almost never left his lab. He afraid of somebody? I think it had something to do with the air outside and the germs. I once heard him complain about it. Smart. What was his job? Grub test chief engineer. The lab runs tests to see how a replicant would perform in different planetary gravitational fields. That kind of thing. One of the other engineers could tell you more. How do I get in to see the big boss? You don't, unless he wants to see you. Okay. How do I make him want to see me? Well, you could call his personal assistant. Who is? Don't know offhand. Yeah, I get the picture. 
You know if anyone lost an earring like this one lately? Not one of the employees, that's for sure. The boss enforces a strict dress code around here. How did Eisendoller's moo moo fit in? <laughs> hey, you know, company rules only apply to the lesser mortals. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. I may have more questions for you later on. Yes, sir. Select destination. Animoid Row. Your apartment. <laughs> AMC. Yeah, yeah, I, I wanted to take up a minute to say, uh, man, Sunday was a ride of ball. Um, we ended up going uh, almost two and a half hours. Uh, that was that was awesome, and I appreciate everybody that um, uh, participated. You know, either either you know by coming by and uh, you know participating in, in the actual chat, the show, and of course the chat always. I thank everybody. It was awesome. Hey, Lieutenant Vasher and MC. I thought I said MC. Mr. Scott Awesome on Twitch. Thank you, sir. I didn't know you felt that way. You know who deals in insects down here? You don't want insects? They're no good companion. But fish. Fish are good. I have every kind of fish for you. Blowfish, Dorado, miniature sailfish. Very friendly. No thanks. I got a dog at home. Fish just as good as dog. No, my dog is real. Real? Oh, you must make lots of money. Let's get back to insects. Official LPD business. Ah. Down at end of Animal Row, you see big green sign? You try there. Good luck with dog, friend. Hope he stays healthy. She. Might I interest you in a snake, noble one? Not today, thanks. You know anything about insects? I regret that I do not, noble one. Save that I feed them to my snails. You do what? Artificial ones, of course. The safeguards in the design of my snakes would not allow them to swallow a real insect. I assume that this insect is already extinct. They all died after the war, yes. So the fakes must be pretty expensive. If bought in bulk, the price is acceptable. They do not need to eat them, of course, but the added realism is worth every penny. Have you ever seen such craftsmanship? Right now I'm more interested in the insect. Perhaps you should ask the Peruvian woman next door. She's an expert on such things, and will cut a wonderful deal to friends. I need to ask you... Certainly the LPD must have better things to do than to question a humble merchant over and over again about the same things. Why aren't you out arresting criminals like that disreputable Bob fellow? Bob? He owns the armament shop up the street. He's insane, noble one, insane. He takes peculiar pleasure in agitating all the vendors around here. I cannot even go out for a shishka walk without worrying whether Bob is going to sabotage my snakes. Shishka what? This your work? Ah, the dragon. Dragon? See, si. I'm a subterra. Dragonfly late of the American South Swampland. You sell jewelry with dragonflies? I didn't like that. Very special significance. Very rare, senor. A state item. And most likely part of large collection. Person must have plenty of money to obtain a collection. More than I can afford. You try Hawker Circle. Might want to trade for this. With luck, 
you may find. If this is from a collection, I'm also looking for the other pieces. I make you a deal. I found out where to get dragonfly jewelry. Then you buy a piece, right? For special lady friend. You come back later. I'll do that. <laughs> you take care, chasing the dragon. Hey. Been pretty busy, haven't you, Slim? Hey. Been pretty busy, haven't you, Slim? <laughs> All right. Careful, senor. You're poison. Scorpions? See? Finest quality. Perhaps you purchase one? I, I don't think so. They're beautiful, though. I've never seen one before. Oh, that we do, senor. That a 45 blaster under your coat, or are you just happy to be here? You got good eyes. They ought to be. They're the only organs of mine that survived the Phobos Wars intact. Ray McCoy. Did you see the gun disappear in Blade the Runner, vehicle? huh? Jesus. How come I never heard of you? I just got assigned. Yeah, I'm kind of buddies with Davey Holden. How's he doing? Word is he's gonna be okay. That skin job must have been pretty damn quick getting by Davey like that. He's the best in the business. He'll be back in the job soon. How'd you feel about taking a little test? Test? You mean the Voight Kampf? Yeah, I don't think you're a rep, but I want to... Hey, hey, hey! You don't have to explain. I always wanted to see the machine in action. Go on, set it up! That's different. Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? Downtown, 4th Sector. Hey, this is great. Should I be sitting any special way? Just relax. You suddenly feel the urge to commit suicide. <laughs> I guess I picked the right line of work. What's the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to you? I don't know. I busted up a guy's face once. He was in the hospital for two weeks. I meant to kill him, so that was kind of embarrassing. You're watching an old movie. It shows a <laughs> banquet in progress. The guests are enjoying raw oysters. The entree consists of boiled dog. Damn. You know, I'm getting to be an old man, and I ain't gonna tell you I've never eaten meat. But even back when I was a kid, that would have made most people sick. I'd stop watching the movie. You rent a mountain cabin. On the wall, someone has hung old maps and Courier and Ives prints. I'm not much for odds. A deer's head is mounted above the fireplace. A full stag with developed horns. I'd burn it. Burn the whole damn place to the ground. You've been kidnapped. Your captors tell you that you'd better think about what you did to deserve this. No, they'd better think about what they did to deserve it. Cause they'll slip and I'll be ready. Don't fuck with Bob, man. You're at a restaurant with friends. One of them orders lobster. The chef drops the lobster into the tub of boiling water while you watch. I kicked the crap out of the sicko. You see an oversized book with pictures of exotic animals on the cover. The title is Big Game Hunting in Zaire. I'd burn the book. Let me finish. Curious, you flip it open. There's a picture of a man standing with his foot on a dead Cape buffalo. You find yourself fascinated. You keep paging through it, seeing picture after picture of animals laid to waste, each more gruesome than the last. So this is how this test goes, huh? You asking me sick questions. 
It's designed to provoke you. Is that right? I've had enough, McCoy. Like my briefcase? Department issue. Baby hide. 100% genuine human baby hide. That's supposed to scare me? Not scare, just shock. Provoke a reaction. I heard worse in the wars. Hell, I done worse. Positive result. Subject is human. Test terminated. So that's it? Yeah. Since you didn't shoot me, <laughs> I must have registered okay. Yeah, it was touch and go there for a while. Well, you know, I think about skin jobs all the time. Try to get into their heads. Maybe that's what the deal is. Hey, check out the man's database. Is that the standard model? What, the Kaya? Yeah, it's department issue. I could fix it up for you. Make it not quite so freaking standard if you uh, get the drift. What for? Hey, Ray, relax. I'm your pal, ain't I? You don't have to step soft around me. The department's been infiltrated, right? That's the only way Davy could have been taken out like he was. Holden is good. No question. When you hook into the mainframe, you always give them everything. But you don't always want them to know what you know. Cause then they'd know, you know? What do you say? Sounds like a plan. Set it up. There you go. Better than new. Okay. Let's see. That's something I've been trying to trigger. So I don't know how I did it, but I did. I hear you've been waving guns around on Animoid Row. Who's been telling you that crap? That lying Egyptian snake oil salesman? Hassan? That's the one. I should have popped him when I had the chance. You want to know what really happened? I wanted to get my daughter a present for her birthday, right? I bought an iguana from that crook Hassan. And the damn thing ran out of juice just two days after I plucked down a shitload of chinyin. Son of a bitch wouldn't give me a refund. So I threatened to burn down his shop. Sometimes you just gotta be philosophical about these things. That's exactly what my wife says. You got any decent ammo for my piece? You mean the good stuff. Cause I know them police issue spitballs just don't cut it. Not these days. Yeah, I know how it is. If you wanna drop a skin job, you need a little extra oomph. I got a few clips around here somewhere. If you got the chin yen for it. Okay, let's have it. Killer. Thanks for your time. McCoy, LPD. What was that? <laughs> Select destination. Police station. Yeah, so we're trying to trigger some new stuff. Nice to see you, ma'am. Sorry about yesterday, man. It was like a... I didn't... I, you know, I, floor. I feared it would Ground be like floor. that, and it, but floor. I wanted it to be like that, too. You know what I'm saying? This, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, we need to go here. Violent street crime in the city rose again last year by a whopping 26%, according to the latest figures from the Department of Justice. Governor Kolvig attributed the change to the dramatic increase in the number of specials registered as city residents and promised a tough new set of standards for the City Immigration Bureau by next month.
scanning video disk. One enhanceable image found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Tyrell Grav Test Lab. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? Give me a hard copy of that. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't know much about jewelry, but it looked like junk to me. Like the cheap crap sold at the stands and shops of Animoid Row. Give me a hard copy of that. A takeout box from Kingston Kitchens. Give me a hard copy of that. Sora? What, what song? Which one was that? Which Def Leppard song was it? I can't remember the three songs I said. Give me a hard copy of that. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. New clues added to personal database. Please check Kaya. Okay, cool. That's good. That's a, that's a, high and Dry is the best Def Leppard album. Um, if you must own, like, feel like hard, like, kind of fun rock, you know, not nothing too depthy, brain, you know. No sense in getting too cere cerebral sometimes, and you know you just want to have fun jamming. Um, they're a perfect band. That album, uh, the second album, it's called High and Dry, was uh, engineered by a guy and produced by a guy named Mutt Lang, who did uh, AC/DC and uh, the Cult, several bands. Um, I think he married Shania Twain. I'm thinking of the same guy. We get a new weapons shipment? Yeah, Guza requisitioned a couple of cases for the assault teams. Let me guess. He's planning on taking out a small city. Lieutenant's a big believer in overkill. That weapons shipment just came in. You got the paperwork handy? Why? You got a pressing need to rummage through my private files? Yeah, I forgot you were keeping your lacy underthings in there. Look, Jack, I just want to see what they're charging for a crate of rifles these days. Too damn much if you ask me, especially at the rate the assault teams are losing them. I guess there ain't no harm in it.
I've modified this thing to let you pick and choose what gets uploaded to the police mainframe. Right click on any clues you want to keep to yourself. That's cool. Lightning Squad, Rep Unit, Battle of the Gemini. Positive result. Positive result. Most of the employees they see coming in morning and night, but old Marcus, I mean, uh, Dr. Eisendoller, he almost never left his lab. I think it had something to do with the air outside and the germs. I once heard him complain about it. It was a Tyrell sales brochure for the Nexus series, the kind of glossy hype that ends up littering the floor at trade shows. This one was for the new entertainment model, a comedian designed to entertain the troops off-world. Howie Lees. Bryant once got food poisoning. The There's not a... I'm absolutely certain Lucy Devlin was involved in this heinous act. She's the young girl who works for me. She came to me with a reference. One of Tyrell's employees got his fat face splattered all over the marble and... See? I know... Scratches and paint flecks, and I knew what they meant. About 30 counts of animal murder and one of aggravated assault. Hmm. Muddy boots. Guess he's from out of town. Judging for That black paint you found on Most of them were shot point blank, but we're looking at some others. <laughs> Kingston, Kingston Kitchens. Where have I heard that before? Why aren't you out arresting criminals like that disreputable Bob fellow? I checked with UN Air. Looks your rep swung that Moonbus massacre last month. They ever find the Moonbus? Disappeared into thin air. Brian thinks it crashed out in the Kipple. The earring was shaped. It's some kind of insect. I already checked for a crowbar, some kind of tool. The dog collar has a name. The dog collar has a name on it. Ricky, maybe? 31 sector. The detonator wire I pulled. This guy lives across the street. Says he This woman says she saw. This is Crystal Steel, badge number BR61354. Still working the explosion at the Tyrell manufacturing plant. It'll take a day or so to analyze the debris, but there's no doubt in my mind that we're dealing with a bomber here. Right now, it looks like the protesters had nothing to do with it. They were in too close proximity to have been in on the deal. No MOs or identities are rolling up just yet, and I'm still going through the inset files to see if any replicant munitions experts are unaccounted for. Howie Lee's in Chinatown. The earring was shaped like an insect. I didn't. Someone had tried to access a bunch of protected files on the Tyrell network and failed. Not just once, but a dozen times. Tyrell. Judging from the distance, but this is Crystal Steel badge number BR61354. Conducting the interrogation of Spencer Gregorian, leader of CARS, Citizens Against Replicant Slavery. November 22nd, 2019. I once again asked that my attorney Shut it, shitbird. I'm asking the questions. We've already put you on the machine, so we know you're not a skin job. That term offends me. Okay, so you're not one of those biomechanical scumbags. And you claim to not know anything about the bombing at Tyrell. This is true. We advocate equal rights under the law for replicants. We have nothing against Tyrell Corporation for creating them. That's some sick logic. The replicants are living organisms, whether people like you like it or not. Replicants contribute greatly to the economic well-being of our culture. They cannot be discounted as such. Hell, it'd be no skin off my nose if each and every one of them was hosed down for good. You ever see this guy? Why, yes. Actually, I have. 
He was present at the protest. He's not part of our group, but outsiders are usually welcome. How many new faces showed up that day? Not too many. A handful at most. Describe them to me. I don't know if I can. Oh no. Recording off. Uh, then she roughs him up, right? And Describe them for me again. <laughs> there was that Rastafarian fellow and one of our ex-members <laughs> showed up. Who's that? A Japanese man named Izo. Why'd you get rid of him? We're a pacifist organization and we have rules. One of them is no weapons allowed. Izo refused to check in a samurai sword at the door during meetings. Where can I find this Izo? He owns one of those little secondhand stores downtown. Let me ask you a question. Who the hell bankrolls your operation? Well, we have a number of anonymous donors, people with resources and sources. Such as? So anonymous, even I don't know who they are. I almost believe you. I think Soros is one of their names. Laboratory. Lock up. Are they letting me out? I'm not the one right. who makes that decision. I suppose it's my turn to bear the cross for the cause. You're Spencer Gregorian, right? No. I really think my lawyer should be here. I'm gonna give you a little test. The other detective. She already tested me earlier today. Uh-huh. Look, I gotta check out the equipment, and you're the only stiff around. I object to this treatment. If you'll just call my lawyer, he'll take care- Your lawyer would tell you I got the authority to VK the mayor if I want. And he'd have to smile and nod and kiss my butt until I cleared him. <laughs> kiss so my down. butt. But, uh... Reaction, Reaction time, time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? Third sector, uptown. Nice neighborhood? Very. Is this going to take long? Just keep your pants on, Spencer. Oh, uh, another wealthy bleeding heart. Like my briefcase? Department issue. Baby hide. 100% genuine human baby hide. Appropriate. For a killer. You're on a farm. You get into the pen to feed the pigs. In their excitement, the animals knock you down into the mud. Using a butcher knife, you slit the throat of the nearest racist. sow. You're covered in blood as you stumble to your feet. My God. You know, I actually feel sorry for you, Detective McCoy. The lack of empathy. Have you ever taken this test? I don't need to. I know what I am. So do I. Hmm. Moral. <laughs> the, I was going to say the morality is just like, okay. That's not familiar, is it? You're at a restaurant with friends. One of them orders lobster. The chef drops the lobster into the tub of boiling water while you watch. Mm. Are you trying to make me sick? They're just questions. It's trying to make me salivate. You're going to die. It may be soon. Death. The grave. Rot. You're enjoying this. It may be soon. The readouts don't lie. You're scared. Don't worry. I won't tell anyone. This conversation is over, Detective. I don't have to sit here and take abuse. Test terminated. I got some more questions for you. Lot of people involved in your cause, Spencer? Yes, sir, we're growing fast. As more and more people realize that replicants have cognitive and emotional legitimacy, the Citizens Against Replicant Slavery will spearhead the movement towards... Save the pitch for someone who gives a shit. What else do you guys do besides wave signs and get arrested? We're peaceful people, Detective. We live by a code that men like you could never understand. Try me. Two centuries ago, humans were held in slavery. Brave souls formed an underground railroad, a way for the slaves to escape cruelty and find freedom. 
So, you help replicants escape the city. I'm talking figuratively, Detective. Sure you are. We're not children, Detective. We have resources. Friends with access to vehicles to escape routes. The world is changing. People are waking up to the injustices perpetrated by a sick society that you have helped... A lot of them will wake up dead if reps are allowed to run amok on Terra, jerk. I had said earlier that this is... I'm, I'm trying to do the Bad Lieutenant version of, of Blade Runner. And, and I, I picked the surly Ray McCoy and he's, he's still kind of like wimpy. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna fuck shit up. Select destination. Animoid Row. Hey, you. Handsome man like you has lady friend, of course. Doesn't she deserve a gift? All my girl cares about is food and love. Oh, how romantic. What is this girl's name? Maggie. Maggie, Maggie... Ah! Maggie, senor. It's perfect, is it not? I'm a little strapped for cash right now. Too bad for you, Maggie, huh? I don't think she loves me for my money. You hold on to her like life itself, see? Someone like that is rare these days. Don't I know it. Hey! Been pretty busy, haven't you, Slim? That's all she says over here. But uh, that whole um, rejecting of the of the of the bracelet necklace thing, um, I've never done that before. So. Step up, step up. Mama Isabella cook you something special. Put a glow in your cheek. McCoy, LPD. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Questions? They always need answers. This guy work for you? <laughs> no, but I wish he do. He be one fine looking man. You sure? Never seen him before. I'd remembered him for sure. You send a lot of deliveries over to Marcus Eisendollar at the Tyrell building? Eisendollar? Oh, Eisendollar, yeah! Let me tell you, that man can't eat! Send anything over lately? No, sir. No deliveries to him no more. Not since last month. He be way behind on his bill. Not for a month, eh? At least. No more till him pay up. You may have a little trouble collecting. He's dead. That stew's looking tasty. Fix your right up. Only dirty chinion. It put a spring in your step, man. The ladies, they be loving you. Thanks for your time. There's a clock I always set. Two minutes. That's how much time I give every stranger that wanders in here off the street. Sell a lot of stuff that way? I don't encourage browsers. What impresses me are people who know what they want and are not afraid to pay for it. What's the most expensive thing you got in here? 
value is a relative notion. What's significant to you might be meaningless to me. And vice versa. Everything here is guaranteed. The finest, most authentic anyone can get. Let me tell you what I want, and maybe I'll impress you. All my paperwork is in order. Doesn't matter. I don't read, anyhow. What's your name? Izo. You say everything's top quality here. Now go for your old buddy Spencer Gregorian, too? I met him a while back. He bought some calfskin gloves from me. Said he wanted to do some gardening. Calfskin? Faux calfskin. Gregorian said you were thrown out of cars for having violent tendencies. Whoever Gregorian is, he's lying. He also said you were a borderline sociopath who ought to be locked up, but I'm inclined to agree. Don't you wish I gave a damn about what you think? I can make you give a damn. <laughs> Let me give you a little word of advice, detective. Stay out of my business. More importantly, stay out of my face. All I'd have to do is make one bid call and you would be shoveling shit off-world for the rest of your career. Talk to me like that some more and you'll be eating it. Perhaps I can interest you in this camera. A hundred years ago, it was a cherished wow. item. Whole families sat for portraits. I've seen plenty of photographs in my time. Have you ever seen this? I am not about to have all my hard work obliterated just because you stumbled into my shop, detective. Westerners need guns and hardware. All I need is... will. Freeze, Yoshi! Izo. Whatever. Been keeping yourself busy? I'll be out of lockup within the hour. Your little skin job friend's gonna take up a collection to bail you out, or you got it saved up? Maybe I got friends in high places. Yeah, and if my aunt had balls, she'd be my uncle. What are you doing here, Slim? <laughs> I was gonna ask you the same thing. <laughs> I've been tracking this boy for a week. He thinks he's pretty clever. If my aunt had balls, she'd be my uncle. I'm working. In fact, your best buddy's a replicant, isn't he? The big guy with the dreadlocks. What's his name again? Hallucinate often? That's okay. You'll be giving him up to me soon enough. I can handle it from here, Slim. Why don't you go buy yourself a lollipop? Something else to suck on. <laughs> Very clever. But I wasn't trying to be. any goggles so I'm gonna get the goggle thing there were off-world rifles here and more grenades explosives modern rifles even some police issue restricted weaponry Izo wasn't some small-time fence but a big-time arms dealer the exact arms that renegade replicants would be looking for to survive in the big city nothing else there nothing else there I was fresh out of Leeds. Poking around Hawker's circle had been a waste of time. I had nothing to connect this Ezo character to the Eisendollar murder. But if the replicants had done in one Tyrell scientist, maybe they'd go after another. And the subcontractors down on DNA Row didn't have Tyrell security to protect them. It's 
Select destination. Tyrell Pyramid. Messy up there, isn't it? Eisendollar had used his dog's name as a password. The Tyrell brass wouldn't be too happy if they knew I was snagging a copy of their files, but someone had wanted them bad enough to kill Eisendollar, so I figured they must be worth having. Select destination. Police station. During his last election campaign, Governor Kolvig promised a bold new plan of action to clean up the worst regions of the highly... A strange scale. It's Deckard. Give me a hard copy of that. In the movie. China Bar. Interesting. Give me a hard copy of that.
That guy sure gets around. Give me a hard copy of that. Yeah, Sora's uh, the nice big, uh, big, big get knowledge-wise was to. I found out that uh, the voice of Lucy is Polly Perrette, actress that's on NCIS, I believe. Um, goth chick that runs around like dresses like a uh, Japanese schoolgirls and shit, Harley Quinn shit like that, sexy. Thought it was cool. All right. Now we're going to look at our database, and we're going to well, keep this DNA shit secret. So that's a bargaining chip. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. No clues transferred. Clue database transfer complete. Product Lucky Strikes, Crystal's brand. I knew she was spending a lot of time in the training maze these days, even though she'd already gotten close to a perfect score. I'm not gonna um, subject y'all to that. <laughs> so, we're not gonna do any um, range stuff tonight. I want to um, at least get to a certain point. Yeah, you're a fan, huh? Select destination. Let us go see you. Oh, frack. I forgot about, uh, I gotta get the, the disc from this guy anyway. Shit. I got a couple of questions for you, Captain. First one's on the house. The rest you pay for. You want chit-chat, you hire a hooker. This ain't no social club. You got any discs from that camera? I just serve drinks, pal. But if you're gonna sit there until I cough it up, well, here it is. You hear anything yet about that dragonfly jewelry, like what I showed you before? No, senor. My friend, he's asking for me. If you come back later, maybe I know something more. Destination. Police station. Yeah, I've got to go look at this picture and then ask the dude to hook me up with Tyrell. image found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. China Bar.
He looks familiar. Give me a hard copy of that. It's Izzo, dude. Goosa? Give me a hard copy of that. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. No clues transferred. Clue database transfer complete. Let's go to DNA row. Select destination. Animoid row. Oh. I was not paying attention. Sorry, y'all. Select destination DNA row. <laughs> If there's one thing that gives me the creeps, it's dealing with those freaks on DNA Row. Every one of those genetic design subcons was a borderline schizoid case, exposed to too many chemicals, radiation, or God knows what. It was the price they paid for taking rep technology into the future. Or maybe it was just desserts. What do you mean what happened? Is everything all right, Sora? All right. bad at room temperature. You buy winter coat. Like this, see? Like this. Very comfy. LPD, I got a couple of questions. Hmm. Talk, talk, talk. Always talk. You wait. You know take up time. Busy, busy. Marcus Eisendaller is dead. Uh, okay, we, we, we talk. Quick, quick, pow. What you want? You were close to Eisendaller? Eisendaller? <laughs> no, no. No time for him. No go to lab. Eisendaller test off world gravity to work important organs. Visual center, you see? Marcus is dead. To work hard all night, all day, no stop, no break, no OT. Did you hear me? Of course I hear you. You think I'm deaf? Your time more important, man. 
Isn't Dollar dead? Maraji may be dead. You out chasing skirts? Maraji? You eat supper with Maraji every night, no fail. Sometimes Chinese, sometimes Indian, sometimes home cook. Sometimes we go up and eat with twins. Maraji didn't show. Did you call him? I call. I knocked. Ten minutes ago, door locked. No answer. Where you come from, huh? What? Nothing. Nothing. Tell me this. Hey, hey wait. LPT, you there for something, huh? LPT? I'm very busy. Eyes won't wait for nothing. Eyes will wait for nothing. Is that a bong right there, man? Just saying. Tell me this. Hey, hey, wait. LPT, you there for something, huh? LPT? I'm very busy. Eyes All won't right. wait for nothing. It's time to get our see Miraji. This is where we save it. What's going on? Who did this? Help me, sir. Please, help me. It is going to blow. Run! Run! Hold on. An ambulance will be coming. You must warn the twins. Up, up there. Up the stairs. The twins? Did they do this? No. Tall men with dreadlocks. The bomber. And a, another with beard. Piercing eyes. What did they want? DNA information. Don't. God forgive me. I told them. Told them about the twins. Don't shoot. McCoy, Rep Detect, BR61661. What do you know about this? Got a dead man here. Victim of an explosion. His name is, uh, was Miraji. He was able to give me a description of the two perps just before he bought the farm. Yeah? They skin jobs? Or are you just in the right place at the wrong time? I'm practically waxing their tails, officer. I'm that close. But I don't have a lot of time. You mind, uh... Mopping up here? Just do me a favor and kick some rep ass, okay? It's high time someone got them illegals off the street. Appreciate it. This is 32 Sector 3 reporting a homicide. Possible act of terrorism. I recognized the logo on the envelope. It was definitely Runsitter's animal sales, but I didn't expect to find hundreds of chinion inside. I didn't know what it was for, but I'd bet the farm it wasn't on Runsitter's books. Hello, Luther. Hello, Lance. You have no new messages and one save voice-only message. Would you like to hear the save message again? Absolutely. Hello, it's J.F. Sebastian. I hope you guys are all right. I tried to talk to Dr. Terrell about, uh, about your reinstatement, reemployment, but I haven't been able to get through to him yet. He's kind of angry, and you know what a cool customer he is. I don't know what happened between you guys, but I'm still trying. If, if, if you want to get together, I'm still at the Bradbury. I'll be here all night. Message saved automatically. To delete, please state your deletion security number. Not right now. Thanks. The pleasure's all ours at Sino Bell.
What you want? I'm busy. Listen to me. Busy, busy. You not delivery man. You go away. Distraction all day long. Never stop. Loud noises on the street. Beep beep boom boom boom. Always beep beep drop eyes. That'd be Dermo design burning to the ground. Oh? What? What of Marazzi? He didn't make it. You leave now, okay? Very busy. Must work. Must work. <sighs> What's Sebastian been up to lately? Sebastian? <laughs> he do what always do, nervous system. Very important to Dr. Terrell. Where do I find him? He had old building down the alley. Uh, Bradbury Hotel, I think. You walk down the alley, you find it. What about this Lance? What kind of guy is he? Why, he like Luther, only different. Don't know which which. That's so? One long hair, talk a lot, always make deal. Other more quiet, work much harder. What kind of deals? Sell this, sell that, no matter what weather. Like salesman. <laughs> Very hard to take, no trust, no way. Did Lance sell something to Runsetter? Who? Never heard of Runsetter. No time for charades. Sound like this, sound like that, uh, look like this. Uh, uh, oh. You mentioned twins. Yes, yes. Luther and Lance. Siamese twins. Live about Miraji. They're genetic designers? Well, <laughs> till last month. Got the boot, shit can. From who? Big boss, who else? And if I didn't tell them, you go ask them. I waste no more time. You think I, I nose around everybody's business, huh? Miraji's some kind of DNA designer? Yeah, subcontractor like me. <laughs> He's funny though, like old movies. Miraji master chef. Twins go crazy when he cooks. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. That'll do, Sadiq. Enough! Oh, you think he found us, man? One of the design subcons must have talked. Unstable personalities, to say the least. Told you we should have blown up the old block. It would have created problems down the line. We got problem now, man. This one? He's not a problem. He's an opportunity. You're weak, my friend. I expected so much more from you. I'm thinking our brother not hearing too good. Oh, he hears us. Isn't that right, McCoy? You ready to give up fruitless nightmare man? Come back to family? He doesn't have a choice. He never did. Let me kill him, man. No. We got no time to be patient. Your woman, she be getting sick. I promise you, she'll not die here on Earth. 
I promise somebody will. Believe me, he's the least of our problems. You're talking crazy. The hunter be dangerous. A fool sees not the same tree a wise man sees. I'm no fool, man. You must have a little faith, my friend. Without contraries, there's no progression. How can you trust any of their kind? We have been manipulated by them, correct? Now they're going to see exactly what lies on the other side of the horizon. In other words, she's saying they fucked around, now they're going to find out. This is kind of cool, though. Catch me if you can! How long have I been here, Lucy? Polly Perrett. How do you know my name? I saw your things at Runciter's. Did you feel bad when they killed those animals? They were so pretty and sweet. I hoped Father wouldn't do it. But Mr. Runciter deserved retribution. That's what Father said. Why? Because he treated me bad, like I belonged to him. I'm sorry. Are you really the hunter, like Father says? It's my job. Why? What do you have against us? Nothing. It's just... the law. Would you hurt me? I promise you I won't. <laughs> Father will be back soon. All right, what I'm going to do is I think I want to go ahead and save it here. This is usually where I save. Um, so, uh, so... Blade Runner 1997 played as Bad Lieutenant. Part 1 has concluded. And what we're going to do here is we're going to save. Right. And where is that? And there we have it, another uh, another half a game in the in the in the books. Um, I, I, I could play this game forever, man. Um, but hopefully, I, I've triggered some some new um, new random stuff. Uh, I'm not specific. I'm not, I don't know the specifics on what I've done, but I definitely saw some new stuff. Um, so, but it's been fun. I, uh, I, like I said, I've been digesting a lot of cancer today, <laughs> and, uh, and then the deal with the uh, battery being, st uh, so the ba basically the battery on our car went out, <laughs> and uh, I was like, oh, okay, I'll fucking, we'll just, uh, we'll get a jump, and we'll go, I'll, you know, put it in, or something like that, and then I looked at the video, and realized that uh, you have to take the front tire off. Um, jack it up, put the, take the tire off, and then remove like this uh, well, and it's right like under in, inside the uh, in, inside the front quarter panel. <laughs> it's the dumbest place I've ever seen a, a battery put. But anyway, so uh, and on that note, um, I'm gonna go ahead and say good night, y'all. It's been fun. Uh, go out there. Oh no! Oh no! What? Oh no, Daddy! No! Um, but yeah, and um, I might pick this, this, pick this up and finish it tomorrow night. Um, uh, and then I'll be ready to, I think, dive back into some some political and goofy shit. It's been a fun week though, um, and I appreciate everybody uh, for being who you are, especially you, Miss Serena.
the original gamer. And on that note, I'm going to say, later, Tatters, and we'll see you on the flip side.